We hadn't seen the old house, right? We have just seen in the pictures. Uh, and this was a bookshop. And uh, uh, when people kind of think about a bookshop, um, it, it was not like the new fancy bookshop. It was the old bookshop, right? Where, uh, I would rather say it was a more of a stationary shop rather than the bookshop. Um, and some photo state machines lying in over there. Uh, and the backyard was just a dump. Yeah, and, and now when we look back and then like the way we are staying into the house, uh, it, it's very, very modern. The plaster at the point of time, the old plaster were falling apart and we had to remove the old plasters in order to put a new coating. But when we removed the old plasters, we saw that the old bricks that was hidden all along were so charming. And it's really a shame to really to cover it back. I thought it would be more meaningful to, to have a distinction between the old brick walls and the new, new ones so that subsequent owners or tenants or residents who occupy this space know about the history of this, this place and how, how it has been configured and they know which are the old and which are the new. I think this is a good um, way to refer to the past. Lucky Musa is my from childhood place. We bought the stationery. The Juchet area has kind of evolved quite a lot in the last three or four years, I would say. Uh, there was a lot of sleeves, right, when we, when we kind of used to come here a few years back. Uh, and now I think it's all been getting cleaned up, right. So there are a lot more hep cafes, a lot more nice shops around it. Uh, but we also think that uh, uh, that a little bit sleaze is also the part of the Juchet culture. And as I think uh, we were just talking the other day that it should also stay on as a part of the whole heritage thing in there. Uh, because that's, that's what the fun is all about, right? So uh, when you kind of walk into that street, it feels very lively, it feels very vibrant, it feels very young. So, so yeah, we kind of really are liking that whole new and old mix of this stuff. 全部都換新鳥嗎那個地方也換了沒有空洞的地方也變成有空洞那些阿大廚都沒有了對面以前是店面那個A店 here become not even one shop all become resident 人也變了你講什麼叫開心車也多了 I, I also believe in that change is very important right uh, and if you're not moving if you're not changing we become stagnant so a change also doesn't mean that you need to demolish everything and then rebuild. Uh, change also means uh, something what is being done to this house, uh, where you still have that old part of it, but it's also being infused with the new things. Uh, I mean, I don't believe in that the, all the old things are magical and all the old things are good. Um, it's just that how you preserve them and how you kind of, how you kind of react to them. Uh, not all the houses in the row I would say that uh, uh, are as magical as this one or I would, we would love to live in them. I think it's the combination of everything. I, I think it's very important to preserve our heritage because we, we are basically what we inherit. 
and we need to know who we are in order to move forward. And especially for the next generations, if there's nothing physical for us to explain and to bring them to, it's very difficult to, for them to understand where we came from and who we are.